Welcome viewers to the next module of this course uh, finite element methods for beginners. So in this uh, module we will start with uh, the shape functions basic preliminary that is the polynomials. So we will discuss uh, how to select a polynomial for given element in this particular session. So let us uh, begin our session. In our previous few lectures we have used a term shape function quite a lot and we use capital N to represent shape function and also we use that if phi is the field variable for n noded element the phi can be represented by phi 1 e where n1 n2 n and n is shape function and uh, phi is the field variable and these shape functions are obtained on the basis of assumed polynomial. We can evaluate the value of field variable within the element anywhere. So if we have this type of element I want to find out value of the field variable at this particular point I can get using this expression where phi1, phi2 up to phi n are the nodal values of field variable and n1 and 2 up to n n are the shape functions of each node if it is node number 1, node number 2. So we can write down that uh, these are the shape functions for each node. Let me first introduce uh, some of the important terms that we use in uh, stress analysis in particular that uh, we can model our problem either uh, in terms of displacement trial function or stress trial function. We can uh, assume displacement as field variable or stressor as field variable but largely we use uh, displacement as field variable and the model which uses displacement as field variable are known as displacement model. And the models which uses stress as field variable are known as stress model. Sometimes we can use both simultaneously and that model is known as hybrid model. And this we have uh, seen that field variable is given by this uh, relation that we have used in our previous uh, lectures while discussing about the Ritz method or the Glarkin residual method. The field variable as we know they are assumed uh, polynomials and polynomials we use because it is easy to handle mathematics of the polynomial and if we select a proper polynomial then this uh, approximation uh, or the approximate uh, value of phi or the field variable can match the exact result more closely. Let us assume that u is the displacement within the element and it is given by c1 plus c2x plus c3x square plus dash 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 cn plus 1 x raised to power n. So this is our assumed polynomial, a general way of assuming any polynomial for a displacement function or a field variable where this c1, c2, c3, c up to cn plus 1, they are the constant of this polynomial. We can approximate uh, this uh, with uh, up to any number of uh, power. So if we assume that uh, u1, u is equal to c1, it means we are using only one term in the polynomial and that is the constant term c1 then we can approximate a, our solution like this. So if uh, this is x for a one dimensional uh, problem we are trying to analyze this and this is our for example exact solution. So this is our exact solution of the problem and if we 
take only constant of the solution may lies may be for example here that uh, this line is u is equal to c1 which is the horizontal line and if we take two terms it means if i approximate the field variable with two terms then i get the linear polynomial and the solution may be like this depending on the some conditions we can get what, what are the values of c1 and c2 and the solution may be represented like this so this is the c1 plus c2x and if i use uh, three terms it means uh, quadratic polynomial if i select quadratic polynomial for this particular car approximation then certainly i may get this type of uh, approximation so the approximation is much better as we increase the degrees of polynomial so uh, in 1d the general polynomial is given by this if we so for 2d polynomial we can <coughs> select we can select field variable as c1 plus c2 f e m y n so it is n degree of polynomial and the constant number of terms are n likewise we can have v is equal to c m plus 1 plus c m plus 2 x n and in 3d we can get the polynomials like u c1 plus c2 x and up to c m z n and v c m plus 1 plus c m plus 2 x plus test test as c plus twice m plus uh, 2x plus test 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 c 3m z n here also it is n so this is how we can uh, select uh, appropriate uh, polynomials for different uh, dimension of problem the polynomials that we have written in our last slide they can be truncated to a desired order to get either linear uh, polynomial quadratic polynomial or uh, cubic polynomials the order of polynomial that we use uh, to represent field variable within an element depends on number of uh, degrees of freedom we assign to each element it means if we have for example this four noded element and degree of freedom is one then the order of polynomial depends on the degree of freedom that uh, we assign to element so it ought, in all we have four degrees of freedom if degree of freedom per node is one and if degree of freedom per node is two in that case we have eight degrees of freedom uh, in all so in other word we can say the number of coefficient in the polynomial should be equal to the number of nodal variables so here we have and the how many number of nodal variables we will have we will have nodal variables equal to the total number of degrees of freedom of one element so it is the node per element multiplied by degree of freedom per node what the example will make it uh, more clear how to evaluate the coefficient and uh, what does it mean that we need to have uh, n number of coefficient if there are n number of degrees of freedom uh, per element if we have 1d element with uh, one degree of freedom at each element it means the coefficient that we can get is two because we will have two nodal variables u1 and u2 so let us take this example first a sim a 1d element 
let us say this is the eth element here node number one node number two so this u1 we have already u1 and u2 we have already defined and this is our positive direction of this element so for 1d element we have to consider the shape uh, the uh, polynomial c1 plus c2 x because we have number of uh, nodes per element is 2 and number of degree of freedom per um, node is 1 so it should have two it can have two nodal variables uh, u1 and u2 to evaluate these two co coefficients so this is how we decide the uh, order of polynomial and then we'll discuss the other requirement as well later and suppose we have this uh, three noded element this is again a single element 1d element and now we have u1 u2 and u3 the three nodal variables so we should have c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square so this should be the appropriate polynomial for this type of problem so likewise we can have for the 2d and 3d element for example if we consider a 2d element triangular then let us take this as node number one node number two node number three then this u can be equal to c1 plus c2x plus c3y why we have uh, opted this linear element because it uh, will have two nodal variables at uh, each node u1 u2 u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 so we should have six uh, coefficient so this linear will have these uh, six coefficients c6 y so for this particular case this type of uh, polynomials will be uh, quite good and if it we consider a quadratic 2d element like this then we have six nodes one two three four five six six nodal variables u1 v1 is uh, 12 nodal variable u2 v2 u3 v3 u4 v4 and so on so we have now six uh, plus six 12 nodal variables so 12 coefficients should be there in all so our polynomial will be 6 uh, coefficient for u c1 c2x plus c3y plus c4 x square plus c5 y square plus c6 xy and similarly v is equal to c7 plus c8 x plus c9 y plus c10 x square plus c11 y square plus c12 xy so this is how we can select appropriate uh, uh, polynomial for the nodal variable uh, for the element that we select we can also it is uh, uh, it is also necessary here to write another expression in matrix form how can we write in matrix form the general way of writing this uh, polynomial is f transpose x into c where this f transpose x is given by 1 x x square it means we are writing for 1d and c is given by c1 c2 c3 and up to cn rather it is n plus 1 so this is another way of writing the shape uh, this polynomial the field variable 
in terms of uh, the polynomial in matrix form. So what does it mean if I represent here this in a matrix form? So let us first write this in matrix form. I can write here it is ux is equal to f transpose x times c. And for this I can write down this as uv and this is equal to f transpose x comma y 0 here 0 here f transpose x comma y and then it is c matrix c1 c2 up to c2m and here also in the same form we can write this and for 3D case, I am not writing the equation for 3D. I am directly writing down the matrix form for polynomial in case of 3D. So this will be F transpose X, Y, Z and this X, Y, Z, these are the general, you can say, values and it can be for N terms, depends on how much uh, no, no order of polynomial we are taking. So it is f here, f transpose x, y and z and then it is 0. So this is 0, 0, f transpose x, y, z and it is equal to c1, c2 up to c thrice m. So what should be the order of polynomial that we can decide on the basis of the element. Thank you all the viewers for attending this session. Thanks a lot.